What's up guys, this is James Verse, and welcome back to more Let's Play Ben 10 Protector Verf last time. We fought Fur and Slime in the historic battlefield, and Gwen got kidnapped by Animo. Shocking, how shocking indeed. And they went to the bayou, so in today's episode we're going to be doing just that. Saving Gwen from Dr. Animo. Where's Animo? Where's Gwen? Ask someone who cares, old man. We've got to track Clancy down. It's our only hope of finding Gwen. Good thing we brought along a big bug swat. You know, that can mean a lot of things. Bug swatter. Like, forearms slaps away the bugs. Heat blast hits them up. These creatures are a travesty of nature. You don't say, Grandpa Max, you couldn't explain that to me last episode? Okay, I'm kidding. So, forms can swat them away. Uh, Heat Blast can heat them up. Accelerate can... Speed through them. And... Cannonbolt can roll over them, and... And wild wind can eat them, I guess, because I know there are some plants that do eat animals and bugs and whatnot. <laughs> kind of crazy how we could do all we want, but Mother Nature does. It's the ruler of everything. <laughs> it's just, it's crazy, and it can happen at any time. Oop, I did not miss you. I need my wild vine. And that looks like a boss. Or not boss, just more of those freaking stink fly things. Give me you. Give me my sumo slimmer card. And let's kill these stink snakes. These snakes. Snake flies. I think that's what they're called. I forgot their. I forgot their name, though I don't really care to remember it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Can I reach you? No, I cannot. Let's just see you from above. Get rid of you since you're the one that's oozing out all that stuff and whatnot. Get rid of the Bobcat. Get rid of Diego's counterpart. I will say, regarding those Ice Age movies, I loved the first two. I thought three was alright and four was alright as alright as well. Oh come on, do I have to restart? I do. Okay. As I was saying about the Ice Age movies, uh I loved one and two, I thought three was alright. Four was alright, and then the collision course or whatever they called it was Eh. I don't know. The whole just like current current interest and whatnot just didn't really I don't know, it just didn't fit the vibe of Ice Age in my opinion. I do like the opening sequence with Scrat though, it's clear that Scrat is the MVP. I mean that squirrel does more than than all the other main characters in the series. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. I don't know. Just the bobcat just reminded me of Diego from the Get rid of you and it. You know, I just realized I wasn't really sure if I was going to talk about this now, but Animo is really smart when you think about it. But we saw Clancy at the beginning of the level, which is kind of funny. Clancy is a villain that appears, I think, in season one of Ben 10. Wasn't sure. Just making sure we didn't miss any sumo slimmer cards or whatnot. Can I get up there like the other ones? No. Oh, 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 run. Run, run, run. Roll. Roll instead. Alright, there we go. Ooh, I want you. Give me you. Squash always 
It seems like we were last episode seemed uh, kind of short because we went through that level pretty quick. I don't know if it was the level was short or I think that might have been since it did feel really short and whatnot. We'll go with Meteor Bolt if I could transform into him. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. It does take a lot of energy though. Uh, that's the bad thing about that move. Mm, get rid of you guys. Are we swinging? Yes, we are. We got ourselves a wild Venomungus. Uh, can I make it? Oh. I thought I wasn't going to make it. That gives me more energy and health. I'll take that. Uh, Sumo Summer card. I believe there's one around here. After I fall to my death. How wonderful. Let's try it again. They did not miss this time. Okay, yeah, I hope I didn't miss anything. I know for sure there's a single slimmer card around this swinging part, I just... Not really sure where it went. And yeah, let me get rid of the hives. At least they're not giving me hives in real life. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> okay. It just came to mind. I need to stop with all these bad jokes and whatnot. Where's the last one? Oh, you were just hiding there, aren't you? You know, I gotta wonder. Do the animals that animo mutate, do they go through pain through the mutation process? Because that would hurt, like... You take all these, uh, animals that had nothing to do with anything and just mutate their, mutate them to hell and whatnot, I don't know, just really crazy to think about that. I don't know, I just think of these things and whatnot since they aren't really explained throughout the series. Oh, there's a similar summer card. Okay, I see one of the cactuses there. There we go, nice. This is number two, I believe. I believe this is number two. Give me you. Alright. Alright. Number two and number three should be coming up pretty soon since. Yeah, we've been zooming through these levels. It's crazy. Okay, get rid of you. Let me guess, there are more. So they just come out of the ground now. Okay, they're not too bad. As long as I don't have to deal with the hive. I guess these are better since the hive kind of like irks you since if you don't break it, you're just gonna they're just gonna keep respawning and whatnot. Unless the whole ground is a hive, then that would have been pretty interesting. Though I guess that type of trope is overdone in media and whatnot. Like, you were looking for this area, it was under you all along. Alright, we just have you two, and I cannot reach you, and you are being kind of annoying. Jesus, I, I didn't think Stinkfly would be pretty annoying. <laughs> No, you don't really expect it, which I do kind of like. I do like when uh, aliens you don't expect to be powerful end up doing a lot more than the OP aliens. I don't know. Just seems a lot more interesting to me. 
Okay, now you guys have a hive, okay. What was he gonna say? I will eat you. I will never get out or something like that. I don't know, I couldn't really hear that clearly. Come on, give me you. Break you. I cannot reach you guys. Oh, they are pretty higher, I just realized that. Come on. Okay, we got some bobcats here. Some wild cats. <laughs> Not wild cat. Er. Wild. No. Hmm. Bobmut. I don't know. That's Wildcat in the alternate universe. Bobmut. <laughs> oh, whoa! That, that I didn't realize that move was actually pretty cool. I was just spamming triangle and yeah, it went pretty good. Okay then. That mansion. That must be where Clancy was heading. I did not realize all these guys were spawning. Just came out of nowhere. As do all enemies tend to do. And just like... Well, really Clancy didn't really have any buildup at all. He just... Just appeared out of nowhere. That... Uh, I don't know. Hex was more or less the same. But I guess it made more sense since Magic and... Pinball, since magic kind of fits the theme. I don't know. Oh, Sumo Slammer card. Oh. There we go. Let's bring up the heat now with Heat Blast. I just realized Heat Blast kind of sounds like the shopkeeper from Resident Evil. What are you buying? What are you selling? I don't know. Just me. Alright, we're using all the aliens. I like this. I like it when puzzles require multiple aliens instead of just one. Oh wow, I could have just jumped that with forearms. Eh, okay. I see more hives. Thank god you don't have enemies. Yeah, if you think about it, Hex didn't really have any build-up. Kevin did, but Hex didn't, but... And Clancy didn't also. He just appeared in the intro and whatnot. I guess, it, like I said, it's just a licensed game, so... I can't really blame it for that. But, regarding, uh... uh, uh <laughs> I almost forgot his name. Uh, let's fight Firewood Bugs. Uh, Clancy. Clancy appears in the episode where I don't remember the name, but it's the one where all when Ben gets sick, and like I showed off heat blasts and forms when they get sick, as long as with I believe. Well, I'm not too, or I might have just explained that. But Clancy, I'm not sure if I remember it correctly, but I think Clancy is also an alien too, since he can manipulate bugs and whatnot. And I'm not sure if we're going to see him in his true form since he does have another form. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see it, but if we if we do, if we don't, then I'll show a picture of it on screen. He literally is like a bug person and whatnot. Kind of crazy if you think about it. 
guess that makes sense. I feel like this would be pre-season 2 Coda's worst nightmare. You know, that would have been actually pretty cool for Coda to have his own, uh, his own villain in My Hero Academia. I don't know, like I said, I, I just like the, here, the, come on, come on, the people of Mew and Quirks and whatnot, but I wonder if I can end that. We're fighting Clancy and we are almost done with this boss fight, yeah. Whenever I think of, I think Clancy only appeared a couple times in the main series, but not that much after the, at least from what I remember, I don't know if he appears in Omniverse and whatnot. A lot of the villains from the OG series appeared in Omniverse, which was really cool. Though I think Omniverse gets black for his animation style, but I... I don't mind. It's a lot better than the reboot, that's for sure. And I don't know, it kind of fits the tone of Ben's personality in Omniverse, where he's kind of a mix of what I love from the original Ben and Alien Force. Well, at least this guy isn't regenerating. Okay, Berman. I'll ask you one last time. Where has Animo taken Gwen? You're too late. With his new base, the good doctor is all the energy he needs to return this planet to its rightful masters. And quite soon, your girl will be no more than just another mixed-up creature in his mutant menagerie. <laughs> Take it easy, Grandpa. We'll save her. I promise. You know, we haven't seen the movies in a while. Let me see which ones we actually unlocked. After it saves... Ah uh, yes, racing on the sea while or racing on a lake while Gwen is tortured. Only in Ben's head. <laughs> New Orleans. Oh, we're going New Orleans next. Uh, I actually want to see what movies do we have. We have. I assume it's the one so we can't unlock. movies. Why did I go to Hero? We have almost all of them. Let's show off. Ooh, I love Rip Jaws. Funny thing about Rip Jaws Transformation, I believe it has two in the original series. It's the same, but, uh, like, I believe it's a lot more flashier and whatnot. The same thing with, like, forums and I think Wild Mutt also. Which ones are we missing from the OG series that I know of? Oh, we have Sinkfly too. Oh, that was the most recent one we have. And I think that's enough for now. I'll show off the others next time. So, that is going to be it for now. Next time on Let's Play Ben 10 Protective Earth, we are going to be going to the New Orleans. Clancy has revealed that Dr. Animal is building a new base of operations with Gwen as the prime test subject. Ben and Grandpa Max are running out of time to save her. We're going to be doing that next episode, so I will see you guys then.